Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys an M16 Moab playing 6v6, co confirmed on the map Sea Town. And this Moab's actually really, really old. I've had this one saved up for a long time, and I meant to post this with like a, uh, a commentary talking about some of my favorite commentators. I have kind of a mini series that I've only really done two episodes of, but. In all those videos, I talk about uh, two favorite commentators that I have, or two favorite like gameplay channels, and I think I've done two or three of those, so I've talked about like four of my favorite commentators, and I was going to do that for the commentary for this gameplay a long time ago, and then I just never really got around to it, and I've posted a lot of other gameplays, so I'll save that favorite commentator's commentary topic for another video, but I just figured I would post this M16 Moab, because uh, it's a gun that I usually don't post gameplays with, and you guys probably just don't see the M16 used in general, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one today. The Moab wasn't the fastest, it was like four and a half minutes, but I still thought that it was a pretty nice gameplay. And like I said, it's a gun that you don't see used that often, so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay today. What I want to talk about today is my trip to Montana the other day. I got back a few days ago, but um, I was there for New Year's. I went with my girlfriend and her family. And it was my first time ever going to the state of Montana. I live in Oregon, and the five or six states that I've been to in the past are uh, Oregon, Washington, California, Hawaii, and Nevada. So I believe that's five states. Those were the only five I've been to through my 17 years of life. And the other day, I went to uh, Idaho and Montana. We didn't really spend any time in Idaho. I think we might have stayed there for like one night because we drove like the whole day, and we just had to spend the night somewhere like in a hotel. So... I think we might have spent the night in Idaho, but I went to a Walmart in Idaho, and we took like one picture there, so I guess you could say I was in Idaho, and then Montana is where we were for like six days, so I've added two new states to my list. I've been in uh, seven states now, which is pretty cool. Uh, in some point in my life, I want to try to travel to as many states as I can. I know some people who have traveled to like every state in the United States, and this one girl back in like third grade who was in my class, she went on a road trip and tra uh, drove through like 30 states in one summer so that's really cool but anyways for my trip in Montana uh, I'm just going to tell you guys some of the highlights or some of the really cool things so uh, usually I don't do anything for New Year's usually I just kind of watch TV or watch like a movie but I was in Montana my girlfriend made some cool trivia games that were like uh, some of the main events that happened in 2014 and those were really fun to do it's cool that she made those games and uh, my girlfriend's mom and her boyfriend, they've been together for three years, and they actually got engaged in Montana, which was really cool. We didn't actually see it. We were sitting in the booth right next to them at this, like, milkshake place. It was kind of like somewhere we went to get a treat, but he actually proposed to her, and I didn't see it at all, but we watched the video and stuff afterwards, so that's pretty cool. Congratulations to them. Uh, some of the things we did on the trip were just we played in the snow a bit. We went out to eat like five or six times and the coldest temperature that I've ever been in is probably like 20 degrees and the coldest temperature that it was in Montana was negative 15 while we were there and it was pretty cool. I actually just put on like a couple layers of clothes and it didn't even really feel that cold but I set a new record for like the coldest temperature that I've been in. It was negative 15 degrees and that's pretty awesome I guess. I've, I, I think like the world record for coldest temperature is like negative 140 or something but it was pretty cool to be in the negative 15 degree temperature, and uh, those were just kind of some of the main highlights of the trip. I had a really good time. Peace out. Hey guys, I ran out of time a little bit in the video, but I just want to say in Montana this past week, I had a really good time, and it was uh, something that I won't forget. It was a really fun New Year's trip, and there was a lot of really fun things. I could have made this video like 10 minutes long and just told you guys like what we did every single day, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of some of the quick highlights of the trip and some of the main things, so I just wanted to let you guys know about my trip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.